our heartfelt prayers of peace to the people and the families of Earth. Please wear your divine light shield. If there is to be peace in the world, there must be peace in the nations. If there is to be peace in the nations, there must be peace in the cities. If there is to be peace in the cities, there must be peace between neighbors. If there is to be peace between neighbors, there must be peace in the home. If there is to be peace in the home, there must be peace in the heart. Dear Ascending Family, during certain periods of time, there are sequences in the time field which influence the instruction sets in the collective energy fields or consciousness of the planet. When we unify as a group, we have extra consciousness power which can be gathered and applied for the intention of service to the earth as well as to serve the highest expression of our spiritual being. Thus, we have a powerful intention when working to diffuse the Armageddon software program such as war, pestilence, and cataclysm fears or many other fear programs which can be interchanged as they are similar control programs used on the earth to suppress consciousness. If you are guided to participate with our group intention, it is powerful to dedicate your prayers and heartfelt intention to a specific issue, such as your friends and family, a group of people across the globe, such as children, or a demographic land area, an earth kingdom, such as plants or animals, anything that you personally feel a direct resonance and connection towards. You will be able to direct God or guardian force to that person, place, or planetary position. At this time, it is suggested to reflect and gather our group consciousness light to be of service to humanity for planetary freedom and planetary peace. We dedicate our group prayer to the Middle East, the 10th Stargate area of the Golden Eagle Grid, which is heavily influenced by war, genocide, and rampant killing agendas to spread into other parts of the Earth. These Middle East areas include the uprisings in Egypt, Syria, Iraq and Iran, as well as Lebanon and its relationship to Israel as the second inner world stargate. Where there are weaknesses in the energetic field of the planet, where there are areas of severe religious conflict over God, these areas are the most vulnerable to these types of hatred attacks. These weakened areas in the planetary grid are vulnerable to the propagation of the Armageddon or 911 agendas. In the United States, the most vulnerable area related to the current civil war crisis in Syria around the use of chemical weaponry is the northeastern seaboard of North America. Today, we dedicate our prayer of strength, endurance, and protection for the people living on the northeastern seaboard of the United States, the Middle East, and other weakened areas that may be targeted for exploitation to propagate and promote the Armageddon Agenda. Prepare for our meditation and group prayer.
Beloved God, our families of oneness, please open all channels of light. Clear all light fibers to be connected and resonant with the eternal living light code. We call upon our group Christ avatar self, the God force, those aligned to the law of one mission to exchange together in the highest capacity of God's infinite light, love, and power in divine right order and harmony. We command this space as sacred in the name of God and consecrated to the service of the One Source Light. Now intend to connect to your inner core spirit. Authentically declare your intention in your heart to resolve any authority issue between your ego and to serve the eternal God Spirit and Oneness. My declaration is to serve my eternal source. I commit to serve my highest power fully, completely, and totally. Activate your inner connection with your spirit and core base light shield, the 12th dimensional field. as you fortify and amplify your 12th dimensional shield. From within your personal light shield, intentionally create the handshake with unity intelligence of the crystal star. In your heart as you feel the divine light shield fully connecting and protecting your being. Stay contained within your personal light shield. See yourself filled with the crystalline liquid light. Feel yourself sustained and nourished in your own inner light source. From inside your heart, as it feels in resonance. You may want to say, I am God, I am sovereign, I am free. We set our group intentional field dedicated to the law of one and that which stewards the divine plan in human sovereignty and human unity. We fuse our intention with our own energetic integrity by committing to serve the God service mission and planetary consciousness field here today. We connect to our group intentional field with the power of the natural laws and intelligent forces operating on the earth by interconnecting to the cosmic consciousness of God present here. Our objective is to be a pure light channel of the eternal God source in oneness and by holding and embodying the stewardship of which we have been called to represent for all of humanity, that which is the future sovereign direction of our entire species and of our entire planet. We call the progenitors of our angelic race through the cosmic intelligences of God Force to apply direct intervention in our co-creation to create the opening which leads us to experience a higher reality system for our own liberation, peace, or freedom for our planet and her kingdoms. As we have come to witness the end of time, we intend to influence the planetary field with all of our heart, mind, and body, using our collective soul effort as directed by our eternal God Self. We call upon the power of our One Source Light to utilize the forces of nature 
in harmony, in peace, on this beloved body of the earth. As the avatar Christ I am, as the light of God that I am, I choose to represent human freedom in God's sovereign power on the earth. I ask these words and heartfelt intentions represent any human being who is unable to speak and yet wish freedom and to live in peace on the earth. For one, for all, we cancel all contracts and agreements that have been made with any entity, being, or guide in this timeline or any reality that are utilizing the Armageddon program on the earth to harm humanity. We terminate all false matrices, controllers, implants, illusions that obscure the highest God purpose and soul mission from past, present, and future. We further declare the cancellation of all such contract irrevocable and permanent in all time frames, timelines, and realities in harmony and peace with God's eternal will. We choose perfection to stand in the eternal light to represent human sovereignty, freedom, and peace for all beings on this planet. As we receive this gift in God's authority and in Christ's name, we will share this gift with all for all is one with the light. I am unity. Beloved God, free humanity of the timeline of Armageddon, genocide, and enslavement. We command dominion on this beloved earth to return to the natural laws of God, the unity consciousness in Christos collapse and terminate through the resignation of programming any Armageddon software timeline specific to the timelines of Armageddon, genocide, and enslavement. In the zero-point field and heart of unity consciousness, we command and reclaim our presence of perfection in one source light for all of the human race and for all of the earth. As guardian representative, cleanse all ancestral miasmatic record through the human holographic record, through the histories of origin, throughout the planetary interface records of cellular memory. Reinstate divine blueprint record to all layers of our human family to be unified in the truth vibration, liberated, sovereign, and free now. Beloved Father and Mother Creator, our families of Christ of the Crystal Star, we send our heartfelt prayers to our community, to all of our family that is feeling scared, feeling pain, feeling sick, feeling the fear of the unknown. Our Mother, our true parent in love, please return comfort to those in our family, those in our community that are feeling pain or fear in their body, in their mind, in their emotion, or in their spirit. We ask Holy Mother to amplify and fortify the Arc Pillar Gateway throughout our community as a transit gate for all energies and entities that are being routed to and through the crystal star guardian host. We ask Holy Father to please ignite the true and benevolent King to override the false King of tyranny. Beloved Father, please reanimate the heart of Christos in all males Please animate the family of Michael, the male Christ principle, to restore the earth to peace. 
please end the war against the people of Earth committed in deception by the false kings sponsored through the Orion and Reptilian Patriarchy. Please restore peaceful and loving hearts with the wisdom of the Holy Father in the true love of compassionate actions made towards the Earth, towards her people, and towards her kingdoms. Please reveal the truth, the light, and the way in the hearts of men. Please free the earth from the enslavement of the false kings of deception and ignite the glory of God's image to be made in the hearts of men. May all of our light family be blessed and sanctified in the peace of God. Beloved Mother, please pour your divine light and Holy Spirit to each being's heart reminding them to know you directly, to know of your care, to know of your comfort, your peace, your eternal and abiding love for their heart and well-being. Please let those who are suffering be held with you and to experience peace and happiness. Holy Mother, please defend the children of God on the earth. May we hold in our heart a loving prayer for all those in our community to be joined together through peace and love, to know brotherhood, sisterhood, and friendship through our intentions, thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. May we all intend to increase our goodness, our purity, through our loving heart. Please extend your love to your brothers and sisters in your light community to wish upon them peace, love, happiness, and abundance in every way that grows their spirit. Beloved God, please comfort the peoples of the earth affected by these great changes upon us. Bring their communities together in love, in prayer, towards the loving aspects of God and help them to care well for each other. Let us here today be strong as the invincible and eternal spirit. May blessings and goodness come out of this transformative time of which many people on the earth feel fear, pain, or sorrow. Beloved God, thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is today. We end our group prayer in divine love, divine peace, and divine compassion. I love you and thank you.